we're going to take a little bit of a diversion from the heart wreath because when I went to work on it last night, I opened up my supply, my felting supply kit, and I found that I had started this first Hello Panda ornament. I think maybe, I want to say, I don't think it was in December that I started it, but maybe early January, and I only had him about half done, completely forgot that I had even started working on him. So I thought it was only right that I finish him up before I get started on the wreath. So I just wanted to show you really quick. Um, if you're not familiar, this is a Mary Stockings uh, kit, and it's a series that's starting for uh, the beginning of 2023. And it's going to be, I guess they're going to release one a month. They did the bears last year in 2022. This year they're going to do the pandas. And so far I bought this one, which... I don't know, I'm assuming maybe this was going to be the December 2022 bear. I don't know, the December bear. And then this one um, was also released and I'm guessing he's the January bear. It's a little confusing because they both look like Christmas, but I do notice on their website. So it's, I should say the date, it's February 7th today. And they do have the February panda already released. And um, so, yes, I'm guessing this is probably December, this is January, and then I have not bought the February one. I'm not sure if I'm going to get this whole series or not, or if I'm going to wait until the end and see how they all look and then decide to if I'm going to go back and buy them. Um, I don't know. I'm not absolutely in love with the February one. Um, he's really cute. He's holding, I think, a bouquet of roses and a card. But it would be, I think, a little cuter if he was holding like a box of heart chocolates. But I don't know. Ask me when I'm done with the wreath. I might be like up to my ears in, in hearts anyway. <laughs> so I guess I could always modify him to be holding a little heart. Okay, anyway, that being said, let's move on and show you. Uh, so the kit is just um, adorable. I love the Mary Stockings kits. They're very thorough. The instructions are super easy to read. I just love them. They're, like I said, very thorough. Uh, he was really easy to put together. It does come with uh, the sequins, which I didn't use. I don't think I used anything from the kit except the, maybe the white beads. Um, I didn't realize it, but these sequins here, maybe I should have used them because they're uh, solid white, whereas the ones that I had in my stash, you'll see when I show you, are more of an iridescent white, which is cute. So, um, super high quality sequins though. So I will save these and use them again because I'll be using lots of sequins. Pl uh, plenty of thread left over after stitching him and of course, yep, the red beads. Okay, and here is how he looks. So adorable. So you can see my, the sequins I used are just probably from the Bucilla kit and they're just kind of the more iridescent colored ones. But yep, he stitched up super cute. Here's the back. I did a little cording for the hanger. And yeah, did just a bit light, lightly stuffing. And yeah, he turned out adorable. I was kind of asking myself if I would get a little bit tired of stitching pandas after stitching 12 of them. So yeah, I'm still on the fence as to whether or not I'm gonna do this whole series. Okay, thanks for watching. See you soon.